God, it feels good to be home. Annabelle! So we're gonna go dress shopping. Yay! Let's see what Annabelle's gonna wear. I'm not ready. So sorry. I missed my old room. Oh. But this is where I will be staying the night before the wedding. A few moments later. Before we left to the Hi. mall, Annabelle and I decided to take a puppy break. This is Annabelle's new Aww. puppy. Isn't she cute? So we are here at Von Mar checking out dresses for my sister. And so far we haven't found anything. We found like two dresses, but I'm not completely convinced. And it seems like they have nothing. What do you think? Yeah. The try-on portion begin. I'm sorry, Annabelle, for making you try on these dresses. Option numero uno, but I don't like it because she looks too asenorada. Next, next dress, Annabelle. I also said that my grandma wears more risky clothes than the dresses you just tried on. <laughs> okay, we're at Windsor now. Oh my god, there's like nothing in the color that I want them to wear. Ah, do you like it? I think this one looks better than the other ones. Yeah. Tracer is here, so we ended up leaving Windsor. We didn't end up buying that dress because we, I just felt like it was a starting point and I wanted to look for different dresses. So now we are at Last Chance, literally my favorite store. And here is where I think we find it. This is my favorite. Okay, so Feature Sarah is back and we did end up buying that dress from Last Chance. It was honestly my favorite and it was the cheapest dress. It was like $50. It was originally like $250. So literally $200 discount. Yes, I'm taking it. The only problem is, so my wedding's in like three days. Like really? Why didn't you get a wedding coordinator? And I still don't know what dress my sister's gonna wear. So literally you go to the store and everything's super casual. Like what happened to all like the really nice pretty dresses? But anyways, we ended up buying that dress and now we're about to enter probably like one of my favorite parts, the wedding ceremony. So I'm gonna give you guys a sneak peek of my wedding ceremony and like the location and how we found it, details like that. And then probably after that, I'll take you through have your suit try on and then maybe I'll add in my makeup trial. I just have so much stuff that I need to add in because I forgot to post last week. But anyways, let's get back to this video. One eternity later. All right, so let's get into the nitty gritty of wedding planning and how far ahead you have to start planning. So I'm just gonna include this comment here. When we were planning our October of 2023 wedding back in July of 2022, we were already, like a lot of places where I wanted to get married, those dates were already taken. Let's fast forward, the wedding's already canceled. What are we gonna do? I have a deposit with a photographer and me and Javier are thinking, why not just elope? I call my photographer and I tell her, hey, I want to elope. And she asked me if I knew what site I wanted to do it at. I said, no, I have no idea. And she says, why don't you go check out Cantigny Park? They have a rose garden where you can do your elopement. This rose garden, it is one of the most popular places where people have wedding ceremonies, photography sessions, you name it, they do it there. It's honestly one of the most beautiful rose gardens you will ever see. Problem is you have to book this place way in advance because of how popular it is. So this is around like March time and obviously in March, the flowers have not grown. So what do I do? I call me Tia Loli. Why? Because she's honestly one of the smartest people I know and knows way more about plants and flowers because I told her, I was like, how am I supposed to book a place without seeing how the garden looks? So she's like, well, you can tell because of buds. So I brought her on as my floral expert to basically verify that yes, this place is legit. The problem is, is that once we got to this place, <laughs> they told us that the flower garden had already been booked and we couldn't use it for the time slot that I wanted. And she wants us to look at different locations because they do have other locations available. But me, I'm like super stubborn and I don't wanna see these other locations because I already had my mindset on the rose garden. And I am so glad I just followed her because we are about to see creme de la creme, perfect place that I wouldn't have ever imagined to book the East Lawn. Let's get into it. So this is the East Lawn and I'm literally so excited to get married here. But now I wanna talk about some wedding venues and how strict they are. So I have a huge family, huge. So now I wanna talk about the unfortunate part of wedding planning, the part that nobody wants to talk about. In order for me to get the aesthetic, the look that I wanted, I unfortunately had to cut down on the amount of people I could invite to my elopement slash wedding ceremony. And you are all probably confused why I keep flipping between the two words since people aren't typically invited to elopements. But later on, I will get into how this elopement slowly evolved into something else. But before that, 
let's go suit now shopping. We are suit shopping. So Javier is not a big shopper. Unlike myself, where I love to dive into different clothing, Javier just does not. Okay, can you not? This man is a fan of Kohl's and the Kohl's clearance section. That is the only place he shops. He knows what he likes. It's always the same Levi's jeans and the same t-shirt. I'm not even joking. It will be a sad day when Kohl's decides to discontinue his favorite blue shirt. I'm not joking. He's a very simple man. So going suit shopping was definitely a mission. Since Men's Warehouse didn't have a lot of suits in his size, we decided to just put these suit jackets up against his face to see which one looked the best. Fortunately, they only had a black tux in his size. This isn't what he's gonna wear for the wedding. I wanted him to wear a white suit. He did not, but we agreed on a cream colored suit. So that's what he's gonna be wearing the day of the wedding. As I previously mentioned, Kohl's is Javier's favorite store and we literally had a come moments before our <laughs> engagement photo way. shoot. So this is us shoe shopping for Javier. <laughs> <laughs> Those are Cole Han. Good old Cole Han. This is us on our way to Union Station. That's where we took our engagement pictures. Literally, I absolutely love them. If you don't already follow me on Instagram, that's where I've been posting a bunch of them. And if you don't follow my photographer, Monica, please go ahead and follow her. She's honestly amazing. If you need her for any photo shoots, she's really good to work with. I really like her style and how she makes you feel really comfortable. So let's get into this engagement photo shoot. So my fiance and I came to Union Station to take our engagement pictures. I'm a bit excited. I'm kind of nervous. I feel like my eyes always come out weird in pictures, so we'll see how it goes today. But I'm meeting my photographer for the first time. I'm really excited to meet her. She's really nice. You guys should check her out. I'll definitely link her Instagram in the bio. For the engagement photo shoot, I sent Monica some inspo pics. Basically, I want to emulate I Love Sarai's engagement pictures because I absolutely love all of her pictures. So this is us trying to recreate it at Union Station. Okay, great. This is Monica. She's my photographer. <laughs> We barely met. Oh my god, I'm excited. But yeah, um, I kind of like this staircase, and then I don't know where else. Maybe we could try something by like the pillars. And in case you didn't get a chance to see it, this is the final product. Thank you so much, Monica. All right, we finally got out, and it started raining. I have no clue what's next. Oh, I see no you so after the photo shoot, Javier and I decided to go on a date. We literally ended up at this random restaurant where it was hidden behind a door, like a speakeasy basically. Thankfully, the food was amazing and so were the drinks. Generally, I don't even remember what the name of this place is because we literally randomly just showed up. But if you know the name of this place, drop it down in the comments below because I want to go back. We just finished our wedding photography session and we literally just started walking around West Loop and we ended up at... Texas Taco Bar. I think I spoke too soon. I guess I do know the name of this place. Oops. And I had no clue that we were gonna, like, I was looking around, I was like, where's the restaurant? And then she automatically opened a random door that didn't look like a door. Now we are here. So now we are back at Cantigny Park and this is one of the days that it was like super cloudy outside because of the fires in Canada. But basically I have to go back to finalize some of the things for the wedding ceremony. These actually came out in the summer. Thank you very much. <laughs> Michelle hating on my aloe pants. They're like the basketball pants that, they, that people used to wear like in the 90s. Oh, here. It is a bit, I don't know, smuggy, foggy, dense. I don't know what the word is, but it doesn't look that nice outside. And I think it's because of the Cal, no, not California fires, the Canada fires. Let's get to this meeting. <laughs> You're not scared it's gonna break? Are you looking for where we parked? Mm -hmm. Oh, I think this is, this is where we're going to go. Over here. Here? Yeah. This is just me at the meeting. It went by really quick. I think I'm about to talk about the party bus. But after that, we ended up just exploring the park. Got out from planning. I'm going to show Michelle where I wanted to get married. But unfortunately, it was taken. It's this rose garden. Aww. Yeah, that's. I wanted to get married in the rose garden. I was like, oh, roses. I love roses. Look at all the roses. Right there. Right in between all the roses. Or, I don't know, somewhere around here. I think this part of the video is really interesting because if you go back a couple minutes, you see the before, and this is how the garden basically would have looked like for my wedding. And shortly, you'll see why I didn't make a mistake in choosing the east Not lawn. disappointed that I didn't get married here? Aw, this was literally my first location that I wanted to get married at. We came here just for this. But it is kind of awkward the way that we would have had to be set up because I would have been, oh wait, you guys can't see it. Walk down, walk around, and then into the gazebo or 
whatever that arch thing is called. And the arch, and then all the chairs would have been here on this lawn. So this is it. So this is the, the staircase that I'm trying to walk down. And then that's where the ceremony is gonna be. Right in front of the pond. Girl, you walk so fast. I almost fell for you. Oh, I If everything goes well, and then hopefully it doesn't rain. Literally one month left. One month. I still have to plan the party bus. I still have to figure out the officiant stuff, but yeah, we're basically done. You look so tiny. <laughs> we're currently dress shopping, or no, shoe shopping for Michelle. And she's talking about how I got my Louboutins when they went to Honolulu. And my dad, what did my dad say, Michelle? That it sounded like she was talking about like car parts. <laughs> like when she was like saying everything that she wanted out of the shoe. Well, it's just because like I know so much about, like Louboutin is probably like my favorite brand. Although I know that they're the most uncomfortable shoes. I just like love everything about the brand, like the creation, the color, like the whole story behind the brand. So that's why it's just like, I have shoes from Christian Louboutin that I've never even worn. But I just see them as like art pieces, kind of. I don't know. I just, I love the brand. Like that's my favorite brand. <laughs> Michelle's like really, oh, to be you. Hey, I worked really hard for everything I have. But... Yeah, we're just waiting and I think we're gonna go to Neiman's after this because Michelle wants to get Gucci Fresa shoes. So I just got to my cousin's house. I had my cousin draw a picture of me and Javier for the wedding and I'm so excited to pick it up. It he sent me like a sneak peek of the picture and it looks perfect. Oh my God, my face is so red. I literally got sunburned right before my wedding. Why would I do this to myself? I don't know why. All right, let's go see the drawing. Bye. Wow. 